4,280 pounds, a Springdale 2020 QB just came in on trade here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Swap this out for a much larger two-slide Jayco Whitehawk bunkhouse, basically just a case of this was their starter camper to see if they like camping. They did. The family grew larger, as kids tend to do. They needed more room, and out they swapped. This has always been a pretty popular layout. I think there's a lot of folks who are just looking for simple, lightweight, effective, no nonsense, no slides, and this is all of those things. Um, we find uh, we found a little more popularity out of the Jayco 212 QB and the Gray Wolf 20 RDSE that we carry here at Haylit RV, and we've uh, in previous years kind of geared our inventory as such. But this being pre-owned and very nicely kept, it frankly does not show a lot of signs of use. Um, I, I think someone's going to be very happy with what they get here. Now, no slide, so we are completely carpetless, which means this is just very easy to keep clean. And one of the things they've done here, which is also something the uh, Grey Wolf version of this does very well, is some big windows, buddy, from the, uh, you know, all the way around the back side here. You've just got these big wrap-around panoramic windows to give you some awesome views of your destination. Now, unfortunately, they give you awesome views of some windows that are covered with uh, travel grime and uh, a little bit of snow residue currently. That's just, you know, case in point in the Midwest at the, this time of year. The RV overall, though, other than the dirt on the exterior, it, it needs a bath. It, like, if, I, if I'm going to boil this down very simply, the only problem with this RV is that it needs a bath. And that's the worst I can say about it. This dinette in the back here is kind of cool. You know, it's not a bunkhouse. But if you've got kids or an occasional large guest, like if you go hunting camping, you want to do some buddy camping, this can fold down into like a 7 foot by 44 inch deep sleeper. This is adult sized and it has storage all the way around that entirety of the dinette there. Now this is more of a basic model in terms of entertainment needs. It's more of a basic model in terms of a lot of needs. But you've got a Bluetooth stereo down there that is app enabled if you want to stream uh, you know, music and stuff off your phone. And right there you can see how you've got all your TV hookups and USB plugs and all that good stuff. Now uh, one of the things that Springdale actually does very well, I have a lot of respect for, is their cabinetry. They do some extra things on their cabinetry to keep it from kind of splitting and failing uh, you know, in, uh, you know, long-term ownership periods. So especially an RV like this that gets, you know, when it's in storage of the winter, it gets super cold. In the summertime, when you're not running the AC, it gets super hot. They actually specifically build their cabinetry to withstand heat expansion and contraction from heavy weather swings. It's a pretty neat thing that they do on these that not every brand uh, also does. Now, a lot of times when you look at that kitchenette, you look at it and say, well, it's a little small. Don't forget you've got that extra pantry space right behind us over here above the uh, that brown box right there. That's your converter panel at your house. If you're not familiar with what that means, you'd call it your fuse box. A neat thing on this one also is you see the location of the entry door where we came in next to the bedroom there, but directly across from it is your bathroom. So this has a very simple to reach, easy access bathroom in here. And like everything else in the RV, it's simple, but... It's effective. Now, they did a classic thing here, which is nice. This is still nicer than what, like, a say, a Salem or Wildwood Cruise Light would do, where you still have shower surround paneling here, and you do still have some semblance of a skylight. Now, it's not a true skylight. What they did is they put their power vent fan up here, but, frankly, it pretty much gets the job done. It kind of reminds me a lot of what some of the classic Fleetwoods used to do, and that is an actual medicine cabinet, not just a mirror glued to the wall. It is a basic series camper, but it's also a full function camper. So you do have a privacy curtain for the walk around queen bed up here, and I apologize if the camera has a little trouble focusing every now and then um, with uh, the uh, frothy breath that I am spewing out there every now and then it kind of struggles. And usually if I kind of give it a quick zoom function like that, it'll straighten itself out and there we go. So. Hopefully you're not motion sick. Apologies. Normal hanging closets on both sides. We do have LED lights all the way around. And this is very, like, CPAP friendly. You can see how you do have power outlets and large stands on both sides of that bed. There is also four full storage below the bed. And if I get down here and lift this up, you can actually see a box that has an RV cover that looks like it wasn't used. It's still taped shut. So you're getting a full RV cover with this. Now, this is the kind of stuff being all sealed up like this, we could have very easily been vultures, and we could have picked this out of this RV, and we could have charged extra for it. But it was this RV came to us in this way, 
so it's only right that it leaves the same way. That's just, we try to be decent like that, you know? In addition to having no slide, you know, which makes this thing kind of easy to manage, a little bit less care maintenance because you don't have slide seals to maintain. It, it also means that this is lighter weight. It also means no slides means less expensive. Lighter weight and less expensive are two factors that nobody ever seems to get upset about, I've noticed. Um, power tongue jack on the front makes getting hooked up to your like weight distribution set simple and easy. It does have an easy tilt power awning on it as well. Uh, you can see that rear cargo door back there. That actually goes under the rear bench of that U-dinette so that you have, you know, basically like two outside almost pass-through compartments effectively. Um, just straight above the sewer station, which is in front of the tires if you haven't spotted it yet, is an outside shower with hot and cold water. And you might notice how there's a Max Air roof vent cover on top of here above the bathroom as well. So, uh, you know, again, previous owners were on top of it. This is a simple but well-constructed brand of camper. We uh, had some of the best service records we had seen from the uh, Springdale Group for many, many years, uh, including the year in which this was built. This was one of four years in a row where they were actually the um, voted by dealerships and uh, by independent service review teams as having the best service records within their class and category. Four years in a row they held that distinction. That is some pretty impressive stuff. I just spotted this also has the correct track alignment system on it. So if you feel like the trailer is ever dog tailing a little bit where it's kind of when you're going down the road it feels like it wants to kind of pull to the left or right constantly, that could be because of how you have loaded your cargo. We can actually straighten that out for you. It's very simple and easy. We have all the like laser sight equipment to do all that. One last thing, looks like the previous owner upgraded the um, entry door handle here. They put one of the larger folding handles over top of the basic handle. So, you know, just makes easier coming and going. And just a quick look at the front storage compartment before we wrap it up. And I would invite you folks to give our team a call here anytime at Haywood RV. This looks to be one of those, um, you know, real open and shut cases of a, uh, a very well-kept starter camper. If you're just trying to get away from uh, a pop-up or uh, a, a canvas or something like that, if it's just the two of you, you have a small vehicle, or if you just can't basic, this is, you're gonna be happy here. You are not inheriting someone else's problems. This is a great camper. I'm sorry, let me, one more. I noticed, uh, if I'm gonna be picky, I noticed a little thing up front here. It looks like maybe a stone or something bumped into it. So there is a little dent in the front nose aluminum there. Don't say I didn't tell you. Go way out of my way to shoot you straight on this stuff. So if you can deal with that little blemish, you're going to save a lot compared to a brand new camper. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.